welcome to another episode of the delicious cooking series now we're still on with our holiday series edition and i'm about to show you how to make one very mouth-watering recipe so today i'm going to show you how to make asun this is a nigerian staple dish that is made with goat meat also known as chivon let me introduce you to the ingredients Asu is actually roasted meat mixed in some scotch bonnet sauce and it's popularly made using the outdoor grill but for those of you who do not know who do not have a, an outdoor grill in your house I don't have one I'm gonna show you an easy way to recreate the recipe from the comfort of your kitchen so I've added my own twist to this Asu recipe that makes it really fantabulous and delicious just for the holiday season let's go straight into the cooking process we are ready to cook. <laughs> I'm going to start by taking my goat meat that I have cut into bite-sized pieces. This is how I like my asu. Some people actually cut their goat meats in bigger sizes, but this is how I like it and this is how you should make it, okay? Everything is going to go right into my pot. It's thoroughly washed. That's a lot of goat meat though. And then next up, I'm going to go ahead and just season this with some chopped onions. I'm gonna use some chopped scotch bonnet peppers as well. And we're gonna throw in some goat meat seasoning. You can use any other type of seasoning cube for this. It's totally okay. And I'm also gonna throw in some curry powder. Yes, I said it. <laughs> and some thyme. A lot of people don't add this, but I like to add it to mine because it also helps to elevate the flavor of my asu and then i'm also going to throw in some ground chili pepper a lot of it asu is usually very spicy and i'm going to sprinkle some salt just all around now what i want to do is slightly cook my asu um, until it's about 70 to 80 percent cooked i just want to soften it because i'm going to throw it into the oven for it to grill so I'm just gonna stir this around just to combine all of the ingredients and notice that I'm not putting any liquid into this pot yet because goat meat usually has a lot of liquid inside it and when it comes in contact with heat it releases itself so I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes to release itself and then when I see the liquid content I'll know whether to add more liquid or not and this process actually helps the flavor of the seasonings to go into the goat meat proper that's exactly what you want to do. Okay, so let's start to combine. It already looks so good. Afterwards, I'm just going to throw in some bay leaves to add more flavor. It's the holiday season. What you want to do is add flavor to whatever dish it is you're cooking. So whatever it is that gives you more flavor, please always add it to your dish, okay? Then I'm gonna cover the pot and just allow this to cook for about 10 minutes. Then I'll come and check it. And I've set my heat to medium low so that it simmers gently, okay? It already smells so divine in my kitchen. Now look at that. You can see I haven't added any water to this pot at all. But you can see the liquid that came out of the goat meat. It smells so nice. Coming together perfectly. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a little more water. Now this is like a pepper water that um, I, I actually got this when I rinsed my blender after blending the peppers that I'm going to use to cook this in. So that's why the water is looking red, okay? So I'm just going to throw that all in. And I'm not putting so much liquid because the goat meat has already been cut into bite-sized pieces and it's going to get really um, it's going to get soft really fast so let's just cover this again and just give it another 10 to 15 minutes so that it's about 70 percent cooked before we move to the next process okay this bad boy looks no, good boy we are only positive people here this good boy looks good already <laughs> okay so i think it's 70 percent done it looks so divine, smells so amazing. Now over here I have a tray, an oven tray that I have lined with foil paper. 
and I'm gonna transfer all of my meat pieces in here but if you don't have an oven to grill your goat meat what you can do is fry your goat meat with some oil you will get same results maybe not same but very close <laughs> so I'm just gonna turn the heat off take out my bay leaves remember I said that the bay, leaf, bay leaves are not edible I think I put about four leaves in here you have done your work thank you it's time to go I have one more to go where is it no where is it where is it okay I think I put just three so I'm gonna use a slotted spoon and I'm just gonna take all of the meat and ensure that the stock is drained completely and then I'll take it into my oven. My oven has been preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just gonna put it there and allow it to bake for a further 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna use this stock to make a very nice palatable soup. I'll tell you all about it later. <laughs> So my good meat is almost done grilling in the oven. Let's proceed to making the sauce that's gonna bind it all together. In this pot right here, I'm gonna throw in some vegetable oil and I'm just gonna heat it up slightly. So in here, I'm gonna add some sliced onions. Look at the way I sliced my onions. It will give, it will make your asso really pretty when you're done. So everything is just gonna go in. And I'm just gonna stir it around and saute for about 30 seconds. What happened to the sizzle? <laughs> okay, so next up I'm gonna bring in my pepper blend mix. Now in here I have some scotch bonnet peppers, I have more onions, I have garlic, and I also added tomatoes. Now some people, most people don't add tomatoes to theirs. I added tomatoes so that it will balance out the taste of the peppers, okay? So everything is just gonna go in here. Woo! That's sizzle! <laughs> and I'm just, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna stir this around to combine. I have to reduce the heat. Then what I'm gonna do afterwards is just throw in some more seasoning. Just a little bit of seasoning. This is goat meat seasoning. Like I said, if you can, if you don't find goat meat seasoning, you can use any other type of seasoning. I'm going to throw in some more curry powder and also some thyme. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of salt for taste, maybe a little more. Remember that our goat meat is already seasoned, so you don't want to add so much seasoning into the sauce so that you won't have an over-seasoned dish, okay? So I'm just going to stir this around to combine. Looking so good already. And then afterwards, I'm just going to cover the pot and allow this to simmer gently for about three to four minutes. Okay, so as you can see, this is perfectly fried now. You want to fry it so that it would help amplify the flavor of the sauce. Now, in my mind, this sauce is too much for the quantity of asu I have. So what I'm just to be on the safe side, I'm just going to go ahead and just take out a little bit of it first and see. And then I'll add it back into the pot. I'm taking out all the onions though. No, I want all the onions in there. Okay, so this is the asu. It's not so much. <laughs> it's perfectly grilled and I'm just gonna transfer everything right into the pot. Oh, I have to be careful. Ah, looking so good already. I'll give this a quick toss to combine. Okay, I think I need to add the sauce. It wasn't so much after all. Your, your asu is supposed to have a little bit of sauce in it. It's supposed to be saucy. Afterwards, I'm just gonna throw in a little tiny little piece of water. Just tiny. And I'm gonna garnish with some red bell pepper strips and the green ones. 
and I'm just gonna cover it and allow it to simmer for another two to three minutes, just on very low heat. Just let it simmer pretty, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. It's time to check on this, goodness. Oh, it looks so amazing. I'm just gonna stir it all around to combine, and your asum is as good as done. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so good. Okay. Time for my favorite part which is the taste test so before I proceed with the taste test let me give you some pointers now ensure that your goat meat is very soft and tender so that your your diners and yourself would have a really good eating experience so you want it to be very very soft and if you're not a really big fan of peppers reduce the quantity of peppers used and you can also use tomatoes to dilute or balance out the peppery taste of the scotch bonnet peppers added. But if you're a big fan of peppers, go ahead and use all of the peppers in the world and have a blast whilst at it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna take one. I already know how it tastes. But, oh God, it smells so nice here. It's soft. I like the fact that I can still taste the sauce. And that's why I added a little bit of water towards the end. It just tastes right. It's perfect. The pepper is balanced. Everything is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now you know how to make asun. I hope you will recreate this recipe. And if you ever recreate it, kindly send me your pictures on Twitter, on Instagram, or Facebook. I'm there as Delicious Foods. And if you like this video, kindly give us a thumbs up so that we know that you like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hurry now and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. The aroma of this food is just getting into my system. Sorry. Hit the notification bell beside the subscription button so that you can get instantly notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll see you again next time with another beautiful recipe. Until then, remember to be very kind to one another. Love yourselves generously and happy holidays. Take care.